Today's promise is found in Romans 8 verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, freely give us all things? How many of us struggle with doubt? When facing hard things in life, or when we just feel distant from God, we tend to doubt his love for us. The question of God's goodness is one that eventually confronts almost everyone. The ultimate evidence of God's love is found in his word. The solution to our doubt begins by learning what the Bible says about the goodness of God and his personal love for you. We need to base our understanding of God on his word rather than circumstances or on our feelings and emotions. In both the Old and New Testaments, the fact of God's love for you is simply stated in the following scriptures. Ephesians 3 verse 19 speaks of love which surpasses knowledge. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 says God's love is everlasting. Jeremiah 3 verse 22 says that God's love is unceasing. Psalm 103 verse 17 says that his love is steadfast from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear him. Then John 3.16 says God's love was so great that it compelled him to send his son. God didn't spare his own son. God the Father sacrificed his sinless, righteous son to pay the penalty for our sin. He gave him up for us because of his great love. If God did that for us, how could we ever think he is not for us? More than that, if he did not withhold his son, how would he not give us all things? God has revealed himself fully and finally in his son Jesus Christ. The greatest expression of himself and his love for mankind is in his sacrifice for them. Thus, we can never doubt the depth of God's love towards us and the amazing grace he has bestowed on all who trust in his love. Was there any greater way he could have expressed his love for us? John 15 verse 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You were made for friendship with God. God doesn't just want us to know about him. He wants us to know him and experience his friendship. To be called God's servant is a privilege, yet he gives us even greater honor. He brings us even closer. He calls us his friends. In this, we are able to catch a glimpse into the heart of God. He gave his life for his friends. And what shall we say to this? If God gave his own son, then what? The answer, he will with him surely and freely give us all things. If God did not withhold his son, he will not withhold any good thing from us. How is it imaginable that God should withhold, after giving us his son, spiritual or temporal things from his friends? How shall he not call them lovingly, justify them freely, sanctify them thoroughly, and glorify them eternally? How shall he not clothe them, feed them, protect and deliver them? Surely, if he would not spare his own son, it can never be imagined that ever he should, after this, deny or withhold anything from his people, for whose sakes he suffered. Here are a few more promises that tell us that God is good and a giver of good things. James 1 verse 7 Every good thing and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Psalm 84 verse 11 For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 85 verse 12 Indeed, the Lord will give what is good, 
and our land will yield its produce. Psalm 104 verse 28 You give to them, they gather it up. You open your hand, they are satisfied with good. Jesus' sacrifice insists that God does answer prayer, and He invites us to come to God, trusting Him to answer us. The all-powerful God who created the universe is a loving, heavenly Father who delights in giving good gifts to His children. We can be assured of this, because long before we were inclined to seek God, to ask anything of Him, He did not withhold the supreme gift from us, the gift of his own dear son. Are you in need? Ask God to provide. Are you lonely? Seek God's presence. Are you in crisis or in conflict? Knock on God's door for wisdom. How shall he not freely with Christ give you all things? Let us pray. Dear Lord, I confess that I often fail to recognize the truth that every good gift comes from your hand. I pray your Holy Spirit would give me a fresh awareness and a thankful heart for the very life you freely give me each day and for the gift of eternal life you so freely offer. Thank you for your kindness and your goodness. You are the perfect Father and you know how to give your children good gifts. Father, you have blessed me more than I could have ever imagined and more than I could ever deserve. Thank you for pouring out your love into my life. Not only do you take care of my physical needs, you have also taken care of my spiritual and emotional needs. Most importantly, thank you for giving me the most valuable thing you own, your son Jesus. Break the power of the enemy of doubt in my life. Defeat him through the assurance of your word buried in the depths of my heart. I thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to my feet, a light to my path, and strength in my life in all circumstances. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video by A Promise A Day. We pray that you've been blessed. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel to receive more promises from the word of God every day. God bless.